Hi friends! This video is going to have to be short and sweet because I have things to do and I'm in a time crunch. But I just thought of this and I wanted to do this video about repetition. When you have a child with special needs, it is so, so important um, to keep things consistent, keep, to keep things exactly the same every day and of course they can't be exactly the same because every day is different but you know what I mean try your best to keep it the same as much the same as possible routines like bath time bedtime all those things try to keep them the same and the reason I say that is most people in general but in our case Connor um, they are about their routine they um, obviously like to know what's coming up next you know and if you try to keep it the same or relatively the same it's much easier on them and it's less stressful um, and so I try to keep everything the same and um, like our bedtime routine is the same every night you know we um, we put on our jammies and we um, change our diaper of course and we um, have a specific diaper we wear at night and he knows that now he'll go get it when he's ready to go to bed it means I'm tired put me to bed and we go to bed at the same time every well he goes to bed at the same time every night and you know his night light I turn on the air in his room and um because we have window units in this house so at night we turn off the main ones in like the dining room and we um, Connor has a small one in his room and then we have a big one in our room so we just turn them on in our rooms that way we're not cooling off the whole house because there's no reason to really and so he knows like after I change his diaper or put on that special diaper and put his jammies on him he knows that we'll go to his room I'll turn on the um, window air units and um, I will plug in his night light and we will sing our bedtime prayer song and I will put him to bed and we've done that song every night since he came home and he knows and he'll like jabber along to it and and so we like to keep it the same I always tell him I love him I always tell him good night and one night he said uh Sometimes I say not, normally I say not, not, not good night. And one night he, before I, like I didn't say it, and I was about to go out and shut his door behind me, and he said not, not, like hello. And so it was just so awesome because you don't leave my room, Mom, without saying not, not. And so um, things like that um, are just important. You know, he may have, I'm not going to say he would have never said not, not, but that prompted him to say it because he was thinking hello you know what I mean and I think the next thing he knows it just came out of his mouth and so that's another reason I love repetition whenever um, I'm leaving I always say bye I love you every time no matter what bye I love you bye I love you bye I love you and now it's just like out of habit you know I say it but one day and he'll say bye but one day I believe he will say I love you back now Will it sound exactly like I love you? Maybe, maybe not. But it will be enough where I know what he means, you know? And so that's just something cool. And I just believe that. I really do. Um, and let's see, what else? Um, meal time obviously is different because we eat different meals. But I try to feed him at the same time every night. Of course, life gets busy. You go different places. You do different things. But for sure, bedtime is always the same. Um, you know, this house doesn't have a bathtub, and we moved into it, um, Connor hadn't even been home a year, we moved into this house, and I'm like, it's fine, showers are fine, and showers were a flat out disaster, he panicked, I'm not talking, oh, he cried and he whined, he threw a little fit, he panicked, um, and so, for a while, I was giving him a bath in the sink, and, but his legs are super long and he's like folded up in there and I decided we're going to quit doing that. Um, for a while I filled up a tote, a big tote. You've probably seen it if you follow me on social media. And we put it in the shower and we did it like that and then gradually I got him used to, I would, we have um, the shower head we have pulls down and so even though he was in this tote and I bathed him and all that in this tote, 
I would lather up his hair and I would rinse it with that shower head. And that's how I eventually got him switched to showers. Showers, I don't know why we put them off for so long because it's a breeze compared to like I can have him showered, hair washed, everything, dried off, clothed, and done in the time I was filling up the tote or even a bathtub. It is a breeze. And he gets a little bit of independence in that because he likes, like, I'll lather him up. I always wash his hair because he would never get the soap out. So I wash his hair and then I'll lather up his body and then I'll say, I'll hand him the shower rod and I'll say, rinse off and I'll shut the curtain and he'll say, bye. And he love, he'll be in there giggling, laughing and he loves that he rinses himself now. So any little thing he can do, it's important for him to do. Obviously right now it's not perfectly coordinated and it's not a hundred percent of a job and that's why I lather him up or he wouldn't even he would come out of the shower not even clean <laughs> y'all know he would um, but eventually maybe we'll get there and if not at least he's doing a little bit of it himself so shower time is always the same um, I do only wash his hair every other night I've always done that but I definitely do that now that he has alopecia and it's falling out easier um, I don't want to make it fall out anymore <laughs> i don't know if that would or not but i just so some nights are different because it's not hair washing but anyway he's figured that out too he's super smart and um let's see what else do we keep the same um we have the same morning routine when school's in of course we have the exact same morning routine and he knows when i get him up and he's not like getting dressed immediately and having his teeth brushed immediately he knows that it's saturday or sunday like he has already figured it out you know and um things like that make it easier because he knows what's coming next and it just is um it just makes life so much easier so um that doesn't have to be with a special needs child your typical children I would definitely say have a routine and stick to your routine when you can. Obviously, some things are different. You know, if we go out of town, if we're staying at a hotel, things are different. But um, he's he's doing better with that. You know, when he first come home, he would have a hard time with that. But he's doing a lot better with that. And he does stay with my mother-in-law and father-in-law and with my mom and dad some. He has spent the night at their house he has a room at their house. He has a bed at their house. And so he kind of even knows how that's going to go because they have their own little routine. And so he knows if he's over there and it's dark outside, he knows I'm staying, you know. And so it's kind of cool to see that too because he's just catching on to so many things. And it's just funny when you look at him and then you think of the little boy you brought home who was like so... I don't want to say nervous, but yeah, I guess nervous. And he would get every little thing you could tell would like overwhelm him. And he would just be kind of distraught and stressed out. And it's just, he doesn't do that anymore. And so that's super cool to see. And, um, he is, um, he just thrives off routine. I've always said that. They told us that before we even met him from the orphanage. They told us, you know, he thrives off routine. But yet, I've never seen a child so go with the flow. Like, this past weekend, we were um, helping my mama pack up the, her all her stuff in a U-Haul. And she moved to Texas with my uncle. And um, it's just been kind of a weird thing because we've been going to her house every evening. And it's like... Um, just a different environment I, you know the only toys that are there are the ones I take with him which of course I pack some with him and he um like at my mom's or at my mother-in-law's like anywhere he goes my mamaw's anywhere he goes there's toys it's a different mamaw by the way but anyway anywhere he goes there's toys and and he knows, oh, these toys are there. You know, I'll play with them. So up there, there's like no toys. You know, we're moving stuff all around him. He got in a box. I wish I could put the picture up. I'll post it to my social media if you follow me. But he got in a box with a few little toys I brought. And he just played in that box. He just sit and played in the box. So he is very, he will go with the flow. But he thrives better off of everything. And I think, um, 
he loves school. I think a lot of it is he knows what to expect. And it's more because summer, you know, we do different stuff. Maybe we stay home. Maybe we go somewhere. Maybe, you know. And I feel like with school, he knows. You know, my mom gets me up. We This is our morning routine. I get on the bus. I get to school. I have breakfast. This is our morning routine at school. You know, and he he's figured it out. He's just so smart. And anyway, so my advice to moms is get a routine. And I don't mean try to put your newborn on a routine. Don't get me wrong. I've never had a newborn. Connor came home at three years old. Within like a week, he was sleeping through the night. We had it made. I'm not even bragging about it. <laughs> I'm not. I mean, he's just, he's such a good kid. He's, he's go with the flow. Like he, you totally flipped. It's a 12 hour time difference in Hong Kong and you totally flipped. And in a week you were flipped and you were golden. And it was just, it's just so crazy. And so, um, I, I'm not harping at you if you have a newborn to get your newborn on a routine because they kind of set their own little mold there. Um, so please don't think I'm saying that, but like, older children if you'll get you a routine it'll be much easier and like I said Connor's just a really good kid we had it made as far as I tell him you're going to bed and I don't hear no mouthing about it he goes he goes to bed some nights he wants to be put to bed um a couple weeks ago I was trying to I don't remember what we were going to do we were going to do something and I was trying to keep him awake and um he wanted to go to bed he kept he would like pretend to yawn and then look at me it's gonna make me really yawn sorry guys <laughs> but like he would pretend to yawn and then he would look at me and he wanted me to put him to bed I told him I was telling Jeremy we're gonna have to learn the bad sign because he would totally pick up that one and nail that one because he loves going to bed I've never met a child that loves to sleep so much but anyway I just wanted to get on here and tell you that and just tell you that um I think we all could thrive off of a routine better. Um, I know I probably could, but definitely our children. And it helps them know what's coming next. And talk to them, too, about it. I'll tell Connor, hey, today we're going to go, you know, do blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and, and it has really um, benefited him. It has really um, helped in a lot of ways. And so, um, which makes perfect sense because, you know, as adults, we know what we're going to do. I know tomorrow when I get off work what all I have to do. But, like, the kids don't know, you know, what's about to happen, what's it, and that's where a lot of um, anxiety and the distress and overwhelming feelings come in. And, you know, as adults, we feel them enough because <laughs> life is tough and things are hard. And let's not pass that on to our children while they're still young and need to be children. So talk to them, get a routine, tell them when it changes, talk to them. There's only benefits that can come from that, honestly. And so I just want to hop on here and tell you all that short and sweet. I don't know why it popped in my mind, but it popped in my mind and I was like, mm, yeah, let's do it. So <laughs> here I am. Anyway, I have dishes that need washed. I have laundry that needs done and it's going to be bedtime before you know it. So I will talk to y'all later.